Hey guys, what's up? I'm Morgan and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate the love and the company that has been coming to me full force with this channel. So thank you. Shout out to all of you. You guys are the real MVPs when it comes to me creating on this channel. <laughs> but um, today's video, you guys, is about a series that I'm going to be introducing to this channel starting today um and so if you're watching this it's clearly going to be on a sunday the series will be uploaded every sunday and it's called how to become a swim Entrepreneur. Now, I title it that way because I'm a swimwear designer, I am a swimwear entrepreneur, amongst other things. If you don't have a swimwear brand and you have a fashion brand, you can still follow along because these steps that I will be showing you guys applies to fashion brands, fashion boutiques. It's the process of creating your own brand from the sketch to your final design to production to designing tech packs and all that type of stuff. I'm going to be covering that in this series and I want to split it up and to like weekly series so that way I cover everything in certain videos and it's not just crushed into one very long video which you guys know I am good for so instead it's gonna be uploaded every Sunday if this sounds like something that you're into and you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure you're subscribed by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads but without further ado let's get into week one and that is basically designing your first collection. So let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so whenever I am getting ready to start any type of business venture when it comes to clothing, I always start off with sketching because sketching is the most important part because you really need to know what it is you want to sell before you get into like actually trying to sell it so i went ahead and i put together this little book that i made i just put my brand on the front of it just so i know that this is actually my sketchbook and on the inside i have a bunch of blank designs blank sketches um body forms for the female body so that i can sketch on top of and i just basically use pencils with this and i make sure i use this eraser i don't ever use the erasers that come with the pencils because they don't really erase well as opposed to this one the white one it erases really well and it doesn't leave pencil marks on your drawings especially if you're not pressing down really hard on your pencils but anyway so i basically start off with sketches and when i come up with sketches for my design I'm always trying to think outside the box and try to think about what can work for the season that I'm going to be designing in and it's very important that you know what season that you're going to be launching your brand so that way you're actually designing things that are going to fit into that current time even if there are some designs that you really want to make you just have to be really smart about it so that you're not wasting money in the long run you know and design things based on what it is that you want to sell so as you can see it has a front model and a back um, model they're both blank it just has the lines of the body the outline of the body you can definitely add a face in there with hair if you want to to make it extra special you can color it in or you can scan it onto your printer and upload it into your computer and do like actual final type edits but for me I, I'd like to do raw like sketches at first and then on the back I like to leave these pages blank like on the back of each page it's blank and that's so I can write the notes for the designs and that way when it's time to make my tech packs which we'll get into in a different video in this series it's very easy to make all the corrections so I like to do flat sketches and let's say I wanted to design a bandeau styled um, bikini I would definitely start sorry let me adjust this <laughs> I would basically just be designing the top part and on bandos you know that they're they go across it's basically a tube top um but you can put different cuts and things like that on how you like it so you can do a regular cut and it'll just be a straight line sorry the pencil is really light you can go right under the bust area i'm gonna darken it up for you guys hopefully you can see that so you can go right under the bust area And let's say you wanted to leave it like that and make it plain. It's really important to add the details so that way when you do again your tech packs, it's all the information is there. So for this one, let's say I want to do a bandeau style top and um, I wanted to add straps or some sort of straps. I can add the straps from the armpit area and it'll just go straight up. Or I can add this strap over here. I can make it the exact same if I want. 
or I can make it go down like that. I can have one area where it's higher and I can still have the seam here. I can make it go up there like that. It's just up to you. And this is why I like these flat forms because it's easier to, to design on and you can erase and things like that. And so for the bottoms, if I just wanted a basic V bottom, which are really popular right now, I could go high up because high cut is also um, very popular right now. I can make the V where it drops down and then it goes back up like that as opposed to the round ones which is almost like a basic bikini bottom and I can also make the strap skinny or I can make them wider I'll do it wider on the hips and drag it down to the crotch area and now I have a V bottom but the important part for one is when you're designing is to add in those fine details that makes this swimsuit yours that makes it not super super basic which makes it stand out so people know that it's from you and your brand you can add a lot of things you could add a extra thick band You can make it scrunch up a little so you can add the scrunch lines and details like that. You can do a lot of stuff to certain styles. If you wanted this to be thinner, all you have to do is go up higher on the hip and then you would take the white eraser and delete that line. So you can see how the different styles change. And on the back, you can make it a full bottom. You can make it a thong. You can make it the V bottoms, which I think are super sexy. We have some of those coming to the shop, by the way, <laughs> if you're interested, you know, no, no, no biggie, but you can make the, the V bottoms just like the front. Like that, or you can make full bottoms where it's still the same width at the hip. You know, you can do whatever you want to this. And then for the top, you can outline the top if it's just a string going across like that. Or let's say you have something with the strings coming in and then there's a bow over the shoulder. It would probably come down to a strap here or you probably have since it's across on on that side it's probably going to come down like that into the bow however you want i just think it's really important to start with these design these designs and again if you're using pencil you can erase so you don't go through the whole booklet if you guys want to know more about how i made this just let me know in the comment section and i'll be sure to tell you exactly how i did this Okay, so now that you have your sketches done, basically the next step is to edit those sketches, to go through those sketches and make sure that you actually have a collection that is worth moving forward on. So when you're sketching, you wanna make sure you have enough sketches to actually go through, to edit, to narrow down into a collection. So if you're just sketching like four designs and thinking those four designs are gonna hit, like and just people are gonna go nuts for it, you need to keep sketching because you wanna have something to where you have a backup or you want to have multiple options and this doesn't mean that because you have more available that all of them are available to your audience at the same time that's not what this is what I'm saying is you want to have enough designs to basically sample so when you're sampling designs, um, you don't have to spend a lot of money, especially if you can find a seamstress that's local. They tend to have way better price ranges than you going to a full on manufacturer because that's going to cost you. It's going to run up really fast in your finances. So I advise you to find a friend that knows how to sew, find um, a seamstress, a tailor in your area that you can work with to see if they can actually just do the sample of your design. But when you're picking out your sketches, what you want to do with these are pick the, the sketches that, um, or not sketches, pick the designs that you sketch that you feel like would actually look very cohesive together. Like you don't want to have something that's full on floral print knowing dang well all the other prints that you have are like extremely sporty. So this is why it's important to really go in and detail the sketches that you want to pick. So for my collection, I can tell you guys right now because you'll be seeing it soon, but my collection is usually based on sportier um, styles. That's just the type of girls that one, I advertise towards, but also my swimwear is not just sporty, it's more sexy as well. So I have very feminine, uh, silhouettes. I have high cuts. 
very cheeky, but because it's also sporty, it comes down to how my design is made. It comes down to strap placement. It comes down to the support of the garment. It comes down to the material. So as you can see, there's a lot that goes into starting a swimwear brand and just being really thorough with your thought process and making sure you don't skip out on anything. So when you're going through and you're picking these sketches, I would say you should have at least 20 sketches to go off of. That's just the lowest amount that I would say. So that way you can narrow it down to maybe your top five designs or top six designs. And from those top six designs, you can narrow that down again to your top three designs. And you can take those top three designs, really go in and detail those sketches. And once you're detailing those sketches, you will have the base of how your tech packs are going to be shaped. So that way you're not missing anything. You figured out which ones you want. And this is for small businesses and startup businesses. You probably don't have the finances to be designing like 20 different styles at once. This is why I said, the more that you can narrow it down, the more that you can focus on giving your audience something worth buying and paying attention to. Just something that is really going to define your brand in the beginning phases of you starting your swimmer brand or advertising your swimmer brand. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by detailing the actual swimwear when you, once you have narrowed down those designs. So keep in mind the design that I just showed you when it came to, oh, sorry, the sun is really bright. Came to all these type of designs, the bandeau style, the high cut, the full bottom or the thong bottom, um, the back with the bow or the strap. I'm gonna show you how you can actually really detail this and what I mean by that so that you can go into more details when it comes to your brand. So let's get back over here. Okay, so we are back here now, back to the sketch. And basically what I'm gonna do is show you guys how to fully detail this or how, or how you can detail your own basically and um, have really good detail so that way you know exactly what's going into your garment you know exactly what style this is or what to tell your manufacturer or a friend whoever is sewing this up so i'm just going to go with the same example um and i'm going to go with the bandeau style top but instead i'm going to detail this a little more so i'm just going to erase the straps for now i'm also going to erase the bottom so that i can get a little bit more detailed actually I just erased the whole thing <laughs> sorry guys but let me just erase this whole thing here but do you see what I mean with the white eraser how it doesn't leave traces it's clear so I'm gonna grab my pencil and I'm gonna go with the same bandeau style top and I'm going to Instead, I'm going to bring the line down just a little bit. Because I don't want it to sit directly at the curve of your breast area. Because once you put it on, obviously, it's not going to stay there. You might have fall out a little bit. So it's important to be very detailed. So I'm going to drop the line down a little bit. I'm also going to make this line up here curve a little bit where it goes instead of it going straight across I'm going to bring it from the armpit area and I'm going to curve it just a little bit at the top and bring it back down so that way once it's on you're not falling out and you still have a very sexy neckline and things like that so I'm just going to curve it just a little bit I'm going to bring it down on the sides and the straps, instead of the straps being directly at the armpit, I'm going to bring the straps a little bit towards the center of the breast line, which would be here. I'm gonna bring that up so that it's over the shoulder. And instead of it being a super skinny strap, I'm going to make it a thicker strap, like that. And I'm gonna do the same to the other side. So this is a bandeau with straps, just like that. And to make more fine details, I want to, one, erase that breast line so it's not there. But um, to make more details, I want to make this part a line 
right under it again, a very small line. So that way I have a channel that goes through for a draw cord and the draw cord is gonna go through here. So to make the draw cord lines, I'm just going to kind of scrunch it up. Can you guys see that? So I'm going to make it scrunch a little bit. And then on the back side, the bandeau is not gonna go all the way across, but the straps are gonna come down like that. And the channel from over here is going to come out right there. And this is going to be a hook so that we know that the channel is going through there and hooking on the back draw cord and a bow. So now this is the front is full all across the bust area and the back is completely like backless pretty much with the bow the straps come down hook onto this string and you tie it in the middle and it's still wrapping around so this is what i mean by detailing very important details and also when it comes to the top part you see how it doesn't have stitches i didn't put any stitch lines or anything and that's because i want the top part to be seamless so that's something you would detail in your tech pack you will make sure it's seamless put an arrow however you want to make that point across you want to make sure that you detail it you want to make sure that this says drawstring channel okay so you guys now that i showed you guys how to really detail it how to sketch out those designs how to really go all in with those designs figure out what it is that you want for your brand the styles that you want for your brand you're going to start to see some sort of pattern within your sketches the pattern is something you should really 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 look out for and pay attention to because that pattern that you are developing within those sketches it could be the the designs that are really going to pull your brand to the next level because when i design i know that i have a certain style that i like i have a certain thing that i go towards when it comes to my designs and that's like my signature type of pieces so within your sketches you might notice something happening where it's like oh my god you thought you were sporty but really you like super flirty you know bikinis so b flirty might be your thing it might be what you're into and it's, if you're into it that's what's going to carry you over that's what's going to make sure that you don't get bored <laughs> within your brand you don't want to be designing stuff based on like the trend that's happening, but you also want to make sure that you stay trend relevant. Being trend relevant is super important because you also want to make sure that you actually fit into the market and you don't have these like standalone pieces that no one is looking for, but it comes down to how you interpret the trend and how you make the trend your own and make your make sure that your pieces the pieces that you want to develop are going inside the trend but not making it trendy i hope that didn't sound like like too much or a mouthful but you want to have some sort of trend relevant garment within your designs so that way you know you're just not the lone star and fighting for attention so this doesn't have to be all the time but it's crucial to building your brand and getting eyes on your brand because when it comes to editing or editors and things like that which i'm going to get into later on in the series you'll see why i say trend relevancy is important but anyway the next part after you have detailed those sketches after you have done all the work and figured out which pieces that you really want to focus on, which pieces you really want to make sure that the fine details are in there. What you want to do next is go into market research. I've already did a video about this. You can watch that video right here. It'll be linked up here or linked up here somewhere. It'll also be linked down below and it's called the five P's of market research. Please check out that video. It's super helpful because that's something that you want to do during week one is market research, understanding the market, and also understanding how your designs are going to fit into that market because it's going to give you guys a lot of information about branding and how to go like more into the details when it comes to pushing your brand. So do that, watch that video and you know, trust me, trust me, trust me, watch that video. Okay. It's really good. <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I hope this wasn't too long. I did want to start off this week with something light. And this is the first step that I will always take. So this is something light, even though it seems like it's not just like, oh, oh, I'm just sketching. Trust me, these sketches are going to mean a lot down the line. So um, just go all in, pay attention to your sketches this week, pay attention to your design aesthetics this week, pay attention to the market research that you're going to be doing for this week. And then for next week, you guys are going to get into fabric choices and I'm going to show you guys where I get my fabric from. I did film that, so stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.